Talk Nintendo Mini Play. Hey, what's up everyone? Thanks for checking out another Talk Nintendo Mini Play. This week we are going to take a look at Metroid Zero Mission. Let's get right on into this game. We'll do it on normal. Now, it's been a while. This game came out in February of 2004, so that was probably when I originally played it. And, um, you know, it's been quite a while, so probably 13 years, give or take, since I've played this game. As many already know, this is a remake of the original Metroid with sort of like a Super, super Metroid gameplay and graphical appearance. Came out for the Game Boy Advance and arguably um, one of the best, you know, side-scrolling Metroids up there with, uh, right up there with Super Metroid itself. All right, so we got the Morph Ball. Now, I'm not a huge Metroid fan. I enjoy it, but not like some people. So I'm actually excited to get into this and, uh, oh shoot, get into this and sort of prep myself for when Samus Returns comes out in just a couple weeks. Uh, at least when I'm recording this. This video actually might go up with uh, around the same time as Samus Returns comes up as a little, little hype up to it, but yeah, so let's just get right into here. Oh, I'm gonna go right now, oh, yeah, I've, I've, I don't know, just Metroid has not grabbed me like most people. Um, I do really need to play Super Metroid. Ooh. Unlocked a little bit of the map for us here. All right. Very cool, very cool. Yeah, um, I've actually never beat Super Metroid, and I know that one is, you know, sort of the, the cream of the crop. That looks like a save room, so I'm just not even going to bother going in there. Um... Yeah, I'm actually looking forward to playing that on the Super NES Classic, which, yeah, I know that whole thing is probably a sour subject at this point, but I was lucky enough to be able to snag one. Now way up this vertical corridor. I always feel like my head's gonna hit those people. See, I wonder, I... I should be able to. F I know you can freeze them. I think once you get the. See, I'm gonna need the bomb for that. Not yet. Not yet. Now, I'm playing on the Wii U Virtual Console, um, but it looks pretty good. This is actually my first uh, GBA game I'm playing on. Ooh, what's up here? Um, on the Virtual Console. So I'm actually, it looks pretty good. As you can tell, I'm not the greatest Metroid player either. Hmm. I don't think I can get over there yet. Alright. I'm sure I'll be back soon, though. In here. Yeah, this is this is where can I shoot all the way through? I need to get I need to get the the bomb. Hmm. Let's see, check out the oh Bet that's the bomb. Oh, or long beam. All right. Of course, of course. Yeah, I always get into trouble because I always, I never want to leave any, any nook and cranny untouched. So I usually end up exploring and finding like, like yeah, the end of the secret there instead of the actual beginning or where you're supposed to go. I guess this is, this is not really a secret. Whoop. <laughs> All right, take the long beam. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to Samus Returns. It looks pretty badass. So I'm actually really stoked to be going through this game right now. I'm actually, oh, I'm actually going to continue uh, through this game and actually, uh oh. Hmm. Looks like I need something. I don't think I'm ready yet. Maybe it's from that other Chozo. Chozo? I think that's how you say it. Uh, tower or statue, I should say. Um. Ah! But yes, I'm actually going to be playing through this whole game for uh, the NWR Patreon Book Club or Game Club. I always call it a book club. We're going through this uh, this game sort of again. In oh God! Jeez, I'm so bad. Woo! All right, that was cl <laughs> that would have been embarrassing. All right, let's see what he gives me here. But yeah, we're going through the whole game as um, for the uh, the game club, which is a Patreon thing. Pretty cool. So uh, hyping up, getting my Metroid fill in here over the next couple months. Could be uh, one, two, and three. Yeah, right in a row with. Uh, Beating this here, then Samus returns, and then then we can work uh, some good old Super Metroid. All right, now let's check out the map here. Oh, now I'm gonna be able to go down where I was before. Look, right there. With my new long beam, shoot that stuff right on down. Now the game looks great. Um, I. I that's one thing. I love the aesthetic of a good, good old-fashioned 2D Metroid. They always look so good. I actually, I compared to like, I wish it would have been cool had they done Samus Returns in like a pixelated, um, you know, art direction instead of this weird 3D. I don't know if I love it. I, when I played it in New York, the, the 3D visual effect looks great, so that's going to be really cool. But overall, from a character design, I think I would have preferred a sprite-based. But... Come on, Jimmy. Those boiling acid pods. Don't, I don't like them. I need the bomb, dang it. I think, I think I'm going the wrong way every single time. Probably got to go on down because I think I need the frost beam to freeze those shell, those shell guys. Which, yeah, here we go. Come on. All right, I'm just gonna see what's in here. Okay, save room. I think it refills my my heart tank here, if I'm not mistaken. Nope, I am mistaken. Okay. I, yeah, I guess they do have those re recharge up rooms. Come on. That one got that guy's cooked. Give me that. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get the morph ball or the morph bomb soon. Alright, here we go. This doesn't look look too good, some all right, missile tank. I'll take that. R and B to shoot. Ah, now I can open that red door. But let's see what's over here first. Need the morph ball. Morph bomb. Oh! Jesus. Sorry, guys. This is terrible. Come on. Putting on a clinic on how to not play Metroid. Ooh, okay. All right. Ooh. All right. Come on. Oh, oh terrible, Casey. No, that's embarrassing. Ooh. Uh oh. <sighs> he dies in the mini play. Oh no. Oh no. Good thing I saved. 
Oh man, that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> All right. Um, we are getting close to that 10 minute mark, but I'm gonna go back and kill this freaking guy. Maybe I should kill some of these guys, see if I can harvest some life. Yeah. Oh! Of course. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. i tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm going to continue to do that. I'm gonna just cut this out, did ya? Alrighty. I have now got some full health here. I gotta make sure not to get cracked by anything stupid like that guy. Make sure we don't screw this up a second time because the only thing more embarrassing than dying to the first little mini boss is dying to him twice. So let's try and not do that. Oh, got my missiles. That's right. Go back here. Just barely get smacked by that guy. All right, so now we know how to do this. We're not gonna mess it up. He's gonna go down. Come up, come up, come up, not up. Blast him in the eye. That's yeah, not the right trigger, it's the right bumper. Alright, alright, Jim. Oh, I'm so bad. I am so bad. Anticlimactic. Wow. All right. Well, I guess that is going to wrap it up for our mini play. Uh, I'm not even going to edit any of that, even though that was horrible. Was so bad, he just ran away. He's like, I'm not even going to deal with this loser. I'm just going to keep on keeping on. All righty, guys. Thanks for checking out the mini play. I hope uh, the terrible gameplay doesn't scare you away. Make sure to check out every Monday we've got these videos going up, looking bad at, at some older games and whatnot. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, all that jazz, and we will see you again next week.